you uh, sorted out where you're going to put Michelle's mum and dad up yet? Feathers. For feathers? I can hardly afford to drink near, never mind stay. Oh, well, our Paul used to pay for him to stop there the other bit. You're looking forward to seeing your grandma and granddad, eh? They, they, they are still in. Coming? Yes. Yeah, you just said. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm off. Hey, uh, Ryan, mate. Listen, I've been thinking, if ever you want to learn the drums, I could always, you know... Ta. What? If you can't learn to keep your mouth shut about Ryan before her parents show up, I'm going to take you down the road and have your flipping mouth sewn up. Ryan! This is for you. What is it? Um, Nick. You know, Alex's dad. When but... did he give you that? Yesterday. He came to the pub. I have asked him to keep away. Do you know what it is? Not really. Please, can you just tell him I'm not interested? Have you been sending letters to him? To Alex? No. I told you, unless he contacted me and he hasn't. Right? Nick and Wendy said that he doesn't want to see me. And I told them that you don't want anything to do with either of them. You didn't stop him sending that, though, did it? If he asked me what happened to the letter, I can't tell him, Carter. <laughs> Go on, you miss the bus. Bye. So when's he coming home, then? Well, I've got to go and get him after I drop you two off. Well, I don't see why I should go in school then, cos then, if he comes on, then I'm here, then ready. Yeah, but I want everything to be normal, and that means you two at school. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe, school has been abandoned. Uh, I'm not going to school. Oh, yes, you are, madam. Mum, oh, I am not going in school if she doesn't have to. Oh, I can't be doing with this today. Rosie, go upstairs and get dressed and look sharp. When I say that I'm not going to school, I mean ever. Oh, for goodness sake. Mum, you don't know what it's like. People talking behind your back, getting bullied. Mum, it's horrible. Yeah, well, you needn't think you're going back to work, Rosie, because you're not. I, I'm not going back to any school. I'm going back to Underworld. What? And you're whining about being bullied by a few kids. Mummy, it's not just a few kids. The whole school eats off. Yeah, well, it's nothing to what you get at Underworld. Rosie, they're professionals. Janice and Kelly consider bullying an art form. Well, they don't scare me. Yeah, well, they haven't picked on you yet, have they? They've had me nearly in tears a few times. And Fizz, I mean, how's she going to feel having to see you every day? Yeah, well, Mum, Fizz lives across the road. I see her most days anyway. And you're going to welcome your dad home from prison with, hi, I'm throwing my life away again? Come on, Sophie, let's just hope she sees sense before your dad gets home. Yeah, cos that'll happen. Hey, what time did you go this morning? I never even heard you leave. Uh, about six-ish. Hey? Well, I've missed a whole day and I went funeral, so I wanted to catch up. <sighs> Babe, can I understand? No, but it's been great to me, hasn't it? Can't afford to lose any more business. How's Jack? Just mooching about. We're lost. Jack and Deb would understand if I took the day off. Deb wouldn't understand you taking time off if it was me that had died. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Hiya. Morning. I, I, I was thinking I'd drop a casserole round for Jack later. He could heat it up any time he felt hungry. Oh, well, Paul's a chef, Emily, isn't he? One thing Jack's not sure of is food. True. I might. Pop round anyway. Times like this, any extra company can't go amiss. Bye. Bye. Nice, really, isn't it? People you don't even think of as friends wanting to help. Yeah. Hey, and you shouldn't have stopped to bring him round that casserole. Probably nice and Paul's anyway. I uh I gave Ryan Nick's letter. And? Wasn't interested. Tore it up. Didn't read it? No. Nope. But I did. It was an apology for stalking him. Hoping that Ryan would understand why I needed to see him. 
So, Ryan obviously isn't bothered at all, and uh, Alex doesn't seem to want to know either, apparently. Well, that's an end to it all then, isn't it? Mm. Hey. Have you seen the way she's really polishing them optics? Yeah, she's doing a decent job. Well, exactly. Well, and, and that's a bad thing. Not normally, she stands there with a the duster waiting for Muck to jump to her. It's because the mother's coming. I wish we could put me mum and dad up here. So do I, but uh, it means putting them two in the feathers, innit? And I am not paying for Vernon to have an even more cushier time than he is now. Michelle, you don't think your mum's going to think the pub's a bit tatty, do you? It's not wrong with it. Tell her we're going to do it up. Hey? hey. Well, needs a bit of a facelift. Yeah, so does the pub. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, although we could make a start outside on the licensee sign. Hey? Eh? Well, well, you know, now that we're married, we can change it to Vernon and Liz Tomlin. No, actually, I have decided to stay as McDonald because that's what I'm known as in the trade. Well, all right, yeah, Vernon, Tomlin and Liz McDonald, licensed to sell... Oh, that would be nice, that, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that would have been nice and it would have been me first. <laughs> yes, and excuse me, I am the owner and uh, my mother is only licensee for technical reasons. Yeah, and technically, she's my wife. Look, either way, my mum won't notice. Her son's wedding's only an excuse to come and see Stevie Weeby. <laughs> You oh. should have seen him greasing round her when we were there, and she was lapping it up. Hey, win over the mother, always the best way. Yeah, all those long country walks you went on. Eh? He drives from here to cab office. Oh. Yeah, for a smoke. He used to come back reeking a mint so she wouldn't suss him out. Yeah, darling, do you want to uh, just give your hair a little quick polish? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so you're going to be stopping smoking while we're here tonight? Maybe. It's a good kickstart. No chance. Says you. How about all the times you try to give up last year? Yeah, well, that's how I know you can't do it. So why don't you both stop? Because, I mean, you'll want to make a good impression and all. Hey, hey, where's the yellow ribbon, lads? <laughs> you won't find an old oak tree round here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, mate. Hey, oh, cheers, hey. hey. <laughs> don't take too much longer, Sal. Carla's watching the clock. <laughs> Oh, she wouldn't begrudge me five minutes, Mr. Connor. Uh, this is Carla we're talking about. Someone else is happy. She thinks she must be doing something wrong. Uh, have a pint after work then, Kev. Uh, I don't know. I think you've got a few things to sort out on first, judging by Sophie's letters. Yeah, I hope you can sort her and Rosie out, because I can't. I'd better get back before Carla starts mm. docking me wages. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. You OK, then, boss? <laughs> well, I will be when I go home, have a shower, get me overalls on, get some honest muck on my hands. I don't think because you took the day off school to so come and welcome me home. It's going to get you back in my good books. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. I've, uh, well, I've just got this card for Sarah's birthday. Oh, I should be pleased. Yeah, only I've, uh, well, I've not got a dress, have I? Well, I'll give it to you later. Oh, cheers, Gail. Thanks, love. Bye. I take it things are no better between him and Sarah? No. Talk to each other on the phone, but always end in arguments, according to Sarah. What a shame. You know, he wasn't my number one choice for son in law. Far from it, but, uh, well, he's grown on me. I'm sure they'll sort themselves out. A bit difficult when they're in different countries. Ah, uh, Michelle's been asking if anyone can put me mum and dad up, you know, so they don't have to stay at the feathers. I was going to ask Carla, only my mum likes her about as much as you do. <laughs> Oh, she's got plenty of room. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, I go off to the stop room for five minutes, I come back, the phones are ringing, the office is empty, and I find you in here two hours later. Getting measured from the top hat and tails. I did tell you. No, you didn't. Just forgot. Sorry. Anyway, can't be any problems, otherwise you won't be in here. Well, I am entitled to a quick lunch. You know, I have been running that place single-handed again. I thought you enjoyed that. Not when I've just been doing it all the time you've been off, I don't. Oh, fancy inconveniencing Carla by falling off a mountain, Liam. What are you like? Oh, fancy rushing headlong into a wedding, Liam. What are you like? Ignore her. She's only jealous because you've not asked her to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> Hiya. That's Bill's, OK? He tells Audrey's mine when she comes in. I brought you Sarah's address. So? She rang last night. Check it up on me. 
Jason. I've not come here to argue. Have you any plans to go out there? What, so we can have a row face to face instead of over the phone? So you can sit down and talk about things which you haven't done. Not really. And say what? Gail, it's her in the wrong. She needs to come home to me. Jason, you've known Sarah long enough to know that when she and David start arguing, <clears throat> logic's the first victim. Yeah, well, not from where I'm sitting. And if she did come home, we both know it'd all start again. So let David go to Milan. Well, if you get Sarah home, maybe that's a good idea. But from the way she's talking, you've got your work cut out. Uh, a lager and an orange juice, please, Van. Oh, no thanks. Didn't offer. Lay off Maria, eh? Mm. Didn't make her cry, did I? Is that what you were trying to do? Did she send you over to turn me off? She thinks we're talking about work. Mm. Secrets and lies, Liam. Such fun, isn't it? There you go, Mira. Here you are. Kit change. Oh. oh, well, now that's what I call good timing. We were just coming to invite you to join us in the Rovers for lunch. Ah, right. Well, I, I was just going out myself then, but thank you. Well, how about tomorrow? Well, um. We could bring just... Norris if you feel outnumbered. Right, well, tomorrow's fine. Just the three of us. Right. right. <laughs> See ya. Ta da. Ta -da. <laughs> Jack. Good to see you, that lad. I wish they'd let me out yesterday, mate. You know I would have been there for Vera. Aye, ah, well, that's the telegram sent off. Good. I just wish I could have paid my respects. I'll tell you what, Kevin. The next time you see little snowdrops sticking their head above the grass, just stop a while and just think of Vera, because she loved them. She always rang that they were a sign there was something better just around the corner. You don't know what I would give to have you talk back to me. And I bet you'd have a suggestion of how to get me out of going to the pub with Rita and Emily. Oh, hi. I was looking for you. Oh, yeah? Um, well, I was wondering, you said that if they ever wanted my job back, well, I do. Yeah? Oh, well, that's great. Hang on a minute. Board meeting. Rosie in the factory. Think. Kitten. Case full of pit bulls. Huh. Are you really frightened for Rosie's sake or your own? Because I can just imagine you telling Maria, I've got my one girl fan club back in the office. You'd do this just for the wind up, wouldn't you? Oh, I do need the help since you never seem to be in the office these days. On your head be it. All right, you're on. But one bit of grief, like you flirting with his lordship. Oh, no way. Yeah, or winding up the machinist. You'll be on your bike in no time. I promise. Well, thank you so much, Carla. <laughs> Look enough time already. We finished early. Thought we'd come and see how you are. Oh, come on. Don't go losing wages on my account. Have you been out? Ah. Just to fetch Vera. What? And that's your son. Oh, right, yeah. You'll be wanting to go up to Blackpool, then. Well, we'll all go, eh, this weekend? Nope. Change of plan. I thought she wanted them scattered off the end of the pier. Ah, I know she does, that. Huh? But she can wait until I'm ready. I'm not with you. Well, you see, 
I'd like us both to go at once. So she can wait until I've got a little learn of my own. And then you can take us both and chuck us into the sea. Well, what's going to happen to Vera now, then? She can stay there. And watch over us. Oh, yeah, hey, thanks for those letters. They kept me sane. Well, I did them instead of doing my homework, so uh, getting to a bit of bother, you know why. That's the best of trick, does she? Where's your tea, Dad? Oh, thanks. Just been here in her noose. Oh, that underworld. I hope you put it straight. Well, she don't want to go back to school. Kevin, let's talk about this on our own. Mum, you've lost. Accept it. Was I talking to you? After the last two weeks, I just want a bit of peace and quiet. I don't want to come home to endless rows again, Sal. You know, we might not like it, but Carla Connor's keen to have her back. She might actually be quite good at a job. I am. Yeah. So much from her letters keeping you safe. Well done, Kevin. At least you've made somebody happy. Just go and check yourself if he's all right. See you later, yeah? Alex. Hiya. I'm Michelle. Your mother. Yeah. Look, they told me you wouldn't do this. You know, without my permission. I uh, know. I know. I I'm sorry. I'll go. I shouldn't uh, have come. No. Please. I'm glad you came. You two bunking off? As if. Is your mother not with you? Should she be? Well, I was just wondering where she wants that all. Sum it up. Not at all. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Summer is up. No, I just wanted a word. Go on, then. Got a job for you. At the factory. At the wedding. All right. How do you fancy being my best man? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well? Fantastic. What do I have to do? Make a speech, get me drunk, get off with the bridesmaid. <laughs> no pressure there, then. My mum put you up to this. Eh? Because of all this stuff. No, of course not. She don't even know herself. Only Radley Billy know, mate. Yeah, well, you're the mate I want to do it. First choice? Yeah. Come here. Why didn't you come when you told them that you wouldn't? I couldn't not come. Even if it was just the once. I wanted to see you. Know you were all right. I'm OK. I don't want to make things any more difficult than they already are. What have they said? You know, about me and uh, them? Not much. Not. Well, where just a heart when there's so much? What about their real son? Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, he's there. Uh, he's found it hard. What does he think about you coming to see me? He does know. Nobody does. You gonna tell him when you get back? I don't know. I only decided when. Well, I, I tried not to, you know. Like we agreed, but well, knowing you were just down the road. So, what happens now? Up to you. And I suppose uh, you don't want me to tell them about seeing you today. Might be easier if you didn't. Anyway, you uh, you better get home, eh? Your dad'll be wondering. No, he won't notice. 
But if you've got to get back to Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, I, I better. Bye then. Bye. Alex. My mobile number and address, if you want it. And thanks for talking to me. What was it that you said just now? About coming here? That you couldn't not? Well, you are my mum. <laughs>